Today we're going to take a look at the Texas Star 350 HDV, which is now going to open it up. It's a brand new unit out of the box. Be careful with these screws. They go in and out maybe three times before they start feeling stripped. So don't over tighten it. Just snug enough and leave it. Or you will. You'll have them stripped in no time. And there's the inside of it. So what we're going in at right now is this little capacitor right here. You see the leg un not connected? We're going to connect it to that solder pad right down below it. That leg. Go down there where that little hole is. So when you put that back down where it goes, if you, if you push too hard down through the hole, it's going to touch the bottom and short out. So just barely through the hole and then put some solder on that spot right there. Let's take a minute and talk about the inside of this amplifier so you can understand the sections and what's going on. This section right here, all right, that's the keying circuit. The transmit signal comes in here and gets sampled across this capacitor that we just hooked up and tells this transistor right here to close the circuit, allowing the 12 volts to key this relay. Over here, once the key is going to come up through here, over there, this section here is all in the preamp, this button in the middle. Going to reroute your receive signal through here to amplify it. And you see there are no tuned stages, so it's going to amplify everything equally like a white noise generator. So you don't really need to use it. You might find some appreciation for it if it's just dead quiet out there, but any noise at all, and it's just going to make more noise on you. Okay, so our transmit comes down through here, comes up into this stage where it goes through this variable resistor right here. And it comes back down and has a couple of uh, dropping resistors in this transformer stage here. All right. This is where it's going to drop the resistance, the impedance, really low to go into these two transistors right here. want to mention a little thing for you guys. That when you pop open your, amp your amplifier and you're looking to see, hey, did I blow it up? This is one of the places we're going to look first. This little 10 ohm resistor at the base of each transistor. If that's got a, a charred, burnt mark in the middle of it, you can guarantee that sucker is dead. Burned here, dead here, guaranteed. Not burned here doesn't mean it's good, but burned does mean it's bad. All right. Signal comes through here, and this feedback loop right here, this degenerative feedback, keeps it from going into flyaway and, and just going off on an oscillation and going crazy. All right, goes into this transformer over here. That's going to change the impedance from low back up to 50 ohms range again. Going to come out of here, go down through the relay and out through this guy and this cap right here. All right. Oh, over here, uh, when the relay kicks, it kind of sends 12 volts back through the transmit line all the way over to here. Goes to this resistor, lights the light. This section over here. This little resistor is very important voltage dropper for this bias circuit. So when it keys up, drops it down, limits the, limits the current. Goes through this guy and leaves just enough for this guy to have, you know, 0 0.6 something, and 0 0.6 something for uh, turn on voltage so that it could be a biased. Biasing means the transistor's turned on before the RF gets there, so it doesn't go through that real noisy stage. All right, so that's where that's there. So when a uh, tip for you guys repairing these, say you found that burned out and you replaced it, and you pop new ones in and they burned out again, right away, as soon as you keyed up, that's because a lot of times this resistor looks great, but it's burned up on the inside. So you no longer drop down to the 0.6 volts. You're hitting this thing with 7 or 8 volts. Just 
tearing it up as soon as you key up. So if you're replacing transistors in a Texas star, make sure to check that little sucker right there. You will be happy if you did. All right, let's put it back. Okay, so this is how I got my driver set up. We're just dead keying, what, 1.2 <laughs> watts, 1.1 watts. And over here for peak power. Let me put the peak shit on, button on. So 20 watts, uh, constant peak, and random 25 there with the constants. So no more than 25 a swing. And turn that on. And we get, we'll put this on the 100 watt scale. Key down, we got 72, 73 watts there. And on this one, We'll go ahead with the 250 slug. That's what you get. Let's see what it looks like. Audio, 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 audio. Check, 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 check. Audio, 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 audio. And let's take a look. We don't usually get to see on an amplifier. Take a look at this spectrum analyzer now. Okay, so starting with the amplifier turned off. Just gonna look at the lobe of the radio, audio, check, check. Then I'm gonna turn the amplifier on. Think. No spurious emissions everywhere, audio, check, check. A little bit when I'm talking, audio, audio, audio. Audio, 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 audio. Audio, check, check. Boom. I thought I'd show you what it looks like in the front when it's talking. Audio. Audio. You know, I've told this to a lot of customers over the years. thought I'd share it with you right now. Uh, you, you saw the guy in Texas Star, and he's this far away, and there's no way to set up his radio and check it for him. How is he going to know if he's not overdriving it? I found, just from doing this for 30 years, about two numbers on here of, of swing. Is it just about right? See, it doesn't matter where if it goes to four, five, or six, they're always a little different depending on the impedance of the antenna. But as long as you're swinging two numbers, see how we keyed up about four? Audio. Audio. Perfect. So I could tell even without a watt meter that I wasn't overdriving this amp. For you guys at home, I didn't even have that stuff. All right. Um, well, one last thing I thought about right in the end. What if, what if I let my radio swing a little harder? Put my radio in super swing mode here. Uh, audio, 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 audio. 70 some watts. And we'll turn the amp on and check it just briefly to show anyone who's asking, what if I had more swing in my radio? Not going very much further, is it? So don't bother with the extra. You don't need it. 20, 25 watts of peak power is all this ant needs. And we're gone.